un poco tiempo para uh, maturar eso. Sí, sí. Sure. One of the, one of the big requirements um, for these biofuels is that they're quote drop drop in. So in other words, uh, he's in New York. Flip the switches. Uh, so not sure you'll find here. And for those that, uh, that that don't know the industry, find the right signal. That's the first option. Minus. <laughs> 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 My name is Julie King and I work in Continental's Public Relations Department. And you'll notice today that we're in Continental Express's hangar and we'd like to thank ExpressJet for allowing us to use the hangar today because it's really going to provide you with one of the most spectacular views to see the launch of the demo flight this morning. The plane will actually lift off right here in front of us. Before we begin, I'd like to take just a few minutes to let you know how today's event will flow. Some of you have already had the opportunity to talk to the various experts around the hangar about the process on developing biofuel. If you haven't had the chance to do so, these people will be available after the departure of the aircraft, so you'll have more time to talk to them. In a few minutes, you'll hear from Larry Kellner, Continental Airlines, Chief Executive Officer, Billy Glover, the Managing Director of Environmental Strategy at Boeing Commercial Airplanes, Eric Bachelet, the President and CEO of CFM International, and Jennifer Holmgrum, General Manager for UOP Renewable Energy and Chemicals. Following their brief executive remarks, we'll open it up for questions, and you'll also have the chance to take some photos with the pilots and the panel speakers in front of the aircraft prior to its flight departure. Just a few housekeeping comments before we start. Please hold your questions until the last speaker, until the question and answer session. And if you could just indulge me and turn off your cell phones and pagers or anything else that squeaks during the program so we're not interfering with the sound system. I'd like to now introduce Larry Kellner. He's Continental's Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. Larry joined Continental in 1995 and became Chairman and CEO in December of 2004. On behalf of my 43,000 co-workers, I want to welcome all of you here. I know many of you have traveled from all over the globe. Uh, we're extremely proud uh, of the event this morning, and we're very glad you choice, chose to join us. There are a number of firsts here this morning. This will be the first biofuel demonstration flight by a North American carrier. This will be the first biofuel demonstration flight using algae, and this will be the first biofuel demonstration flight using a dual engine or twin engine aircraft. And so we're very excited about the progress we continue to make in that area. I also want to thank our partners here this morning. I want to thank the Boeing company, uh, Billy Glover's here. I also want to thank my long-term friend and senior Boeing executive, John Wojcik, who actually came here this morning. John, thank you for coming to join us. I also want to thank uh, GE and CFM for all they're doing. And I want to thank uh, Jennifer Yu and Honeywell UOP. Uh, it's a great group of partners. Completing that group are my teammates here at Continental. I stand up here representing them, but they actually do all the work. Uh, and I'm extremely proud of the efforts they're making on the environmental front. I want to specifically recognize Leah Rainey, who runs environmental affairs for us, and Fred Abbott, our chief pilot. They are so critical in making sure that we do this in the right way, and yet we continue to move forward. Continental has a long-standing commitment to the environment. If you look at our progress since 1997, 
we can fly a revenue passenger mile today with 35% less fuel than we could just 12 years ago. And that progress, well, a big part of it was the investment in a fuel efficient fleet and the transition we've made. An awful lot of it was also the efforts of my coworkers to make sure our procedures are as efficient as possible. It was adding winglets to the aircraft. It was putting 3D aero blades on our 777s and innovation by GE. And so there's just this continuous desire to improve. And today we can fly a passenger a thousand miles, the equivalent of from Houston to Chicago, on 18 gallons of jet fuel. What that means is we get about 55 revenue passenger miles per gallon. And we're going to continue to work to improve that. But I think that shows where our, our first commitment to the environment is. But it's not just be more fuel efficient. It's also electrical ground service equipment. It's also a recycling program. These are all steps as we continue to be not only good for our customers and good for our coworkers and good for our shareholders, but to make sure we're good corporate citizens and good for the environment. And this demonstration flight today is just the next step in that process. And I'd be the first to tell you it's a small step, but it's a very important step. Because as we look forward, we see biofuels as an area of opportunity where we can really make a difference in the environment. And if you look, these are drop-in fuels, meaning that you don't need to change the aircraft, you don't need to change the engines, we don't need to move to a new technology to use these biofuels. Secondly, they have the properties of jet fuel, so they have the low freezing point, and they have the technical properties. We've done a tremendous amount of ground testing with these fuels. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna fuel the right engine, the number two engine, with 50% biofuel, a mix of algae and jatropha, and 50% regular jet, and then the other engine will run on regular jet fuel. We will do a number of normal and non-normal procedures today to test the engines. Again, we've done extensive ground testing, but I do want to thank our pilots, I want to thank the engineer. We'll have just three people on the plane, our two pilots, uh, who were very grateful for the professionalism and depth of our pilot group here, and then an engineer, and then when we return, we expect to find, based on all our ground testing, that everything about the biofuel was equivalent or uh, slightly better than jet fuel, but we'll examine the engines, we'll examine the aircraft, and get that additional feedback as we continue to move forward. And again, while this is a small step, I think if you look where we've come over the last year in the biofuel side, we're making a lot of progress. The second generation biofuels are, they don't uh, impact the food supply, they don't impact the water supply, they don't have the deforestation issues that some of the first generation fuels did. And so I think, again, it's a, a great step forward we're making. Uh, we'll continue to work on this. And I'm most grateful for our partners as I close here. I want to turn it back over to Julie and give each of them a chance to uh, uh, talk. But I tell you, Boeing and GE, CFM and Honeywell uh, are true partners here, along with my coworkers. And I'm glad to be a part of this team. Thank you for coming today.